Please to remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Huh. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them chasing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artist! Come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Looks glorious, but... Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. I don't know. It kind of helps you get a better grip. Do you... Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Almost like pins and needles. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel. Let's take a little break. Got it. That child is... something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> But you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <sighs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big deal. Yeah. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Until I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick... I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. See, Sean. Hey, can you 
turn that earth ball around a little bit. Totally. <laughs> Yo, can you turn that, that, um, uh, spider thingy around? Sweet! Hmm, maybe give that spider another twist? There he goes! <laughs> hmm, now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Watch this! Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Okay, how about turning that pancake head? You got it. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like my friend. It, it, it's kind of like... Yeah, I've read about it. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always going to be a visitor. <laughs> super Wolf to the Silver Runner. Copy, I hit something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Anno. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, right, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first. Item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Getting warm? Hmm. 
you're in the middle zone. It's close, Sean. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh hoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Getting closer. Just grab it! You're here! Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. You asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. <laughs> Don't want to get run over by Karen. back. Gotta empty that truck. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Going to that small town for supply. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> But we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. 
Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <sighs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so... I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a... rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <sighs> this place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <sighs> That's why people come here, from all over the country, for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just 
live slightly apart from it. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. 
Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. Karen. Be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well, figures, this couldn't last forever. So, this is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky.